Beautiful Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you <clears throat> are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Uh, so, on one hand, you could have someone that may be maybe, uh, coming towards you with some type of proposal, some type of information that you maybe are not privy to or something that you are just not aware of that is beneficial to you. So, maybe something is being brought to your awareness, okay? On another hand, you could have someone that's wanting to come towards you to kind of argue with you because they want you to be in some type of uh, uneasy energy. They don't want you relaxing. They don't want you chill. They don't want you comfortable. They don't want you at peace. So basically, somebody wants to disturb your peace, okay? It's what I'm picking up on. Whoever this is could be a feminine energy. Uh, this is a this could be a feminine energy from a family, from an institution, whatever this is. And they are trying to kind of sabotage you from acquiring a Ten of Pentacles, uh, uh, sabotage you from being seen, from being heard, from being supported. It's been to seem narrative for quite a while. Um, why these people are this dedicated is what I haven't been able to find out. What I know is that they've been trying to block some type of uh, union from coming together, some type of collaboration. And those, these are people that are very distorted. Um, these are people that have a hard time going within and seeing what it is that they need to see uh, so that they can see life from a different perspective. But uh, these are just people that have come up with some type of scenario that they are stuck in. So it's like they've created some type of lie, some type of plot. It's like a group of people coming up with a plot to take somebody down to block you from receiving your birthright. Um, but it's not going according to plan. So these are people that are even stuck, unable to move on, unable to take any action, having to, having to kind of like postpone something. So you may have somebody that wants to come towards you to pick a fight, but they have to postpone whatever it is they're trying to do because this person could be going through some type of loss. Um, whoever has been coming after you, because I see like a man behind the scenes. This is like I think a source reverse. This man is about to be going through some type of loss and it don't even make no sense because this is something that could have been prevented, okay? So it's just somebody coming after you time and time again and they know that it's not going to turn out in your favor, but it's like somebody let, I don't know if it's like their pride to kick in, their ego to kick I don't know what it is. But this man is very angry behind the scenes. This man is like just very bothered at your energy. It's like your wholesomeness bothers this person because this is somebody that just does not resonate on that frequency yet. I believe someday he will, but right now it's not the time. Uh, I really hope that some, this is not somebody that ends up leaving this realm in the energy that he is in because it's not a healthy energy. Like This is somebody that's pissed off all the time. This is somebody that's angry all the time. I don't know why this person is this angry, but they are. Um, but you may have somebody that wants to take action to come towards you, but they got to postpone their journey because there's some type of drama they're having to take care of. Or somebody else that was trying to come towards you to cause you problems has more problems to worry about. So it's like they got bigger fish to fry than you. You're like a little fish in this person's life, but they've managed to focus all their attention on you and they've neglected all the other fish and the other fish are getting rotten and things like that. And they say, oh, shoot. What do I do? How do I fix this fish? You can't fix it now. It's rotten. Nobody wants to eat rotten fish. Rotten fish is a delicacy in some countries. They make it a certain kind of way. But I, I'm saying like on an average, on a normal day, most people don't want to eat no rotten fish. I think there's like a rotten, rotten fish dish, I believe, either in Japan. I forgot where it is. It's in one of those Asian countries, but there's some 
kind of dish they eat. And I know in my country too, we have a dish like that. Um, we don't eat it commonly, but yeah. Anyway, so whoever this is that wants to fight you, they may not be able to because there's some type of blockage. Someone is very distorted when it comes to who you are uh, because they don't want to face the truth. It's like they want to be seen as you, but they don't have the qualities that you do. Um, and they want people to see you in a light where it's that you are, you know, like you got a queen of, queen of wands upright. They want people to see you as the queen of cups, queen of wands in the reverse, excuse me. So they want people to see you as someone that does not have control of yourself. You're unhinged. You may be way into dark magic. You may be someone that's disloyal. You may be someone that uses your, uh, uh, feminine energy for, uh, uh, gain and things like that, that you use your sexuality to get get things from people and that's not even true uh, a lot of the times because that whoever i've been picking up on that people have been bullying this is a feminine energy who's in an empress energy empresses are oftentimes like celibate not selling a bit um so it's very rare for you to find an empress that's just out here being loose giving a pack back to anybody and just anybody it's a nah uh-uh because we already understand how energy works so you can't just be laying with anybody and then be saying, be saying that you're an empress. So most of them will stay celibate until they end up with somebody that's worth their time. So if somebody's out here saying that an empress energy is loose, doing this and doing that, that's a lie. It's a bullfish lie. I am not believing it. I haven't, haven't met this empress, but I, I can tell you for one thing, they don't got to do all of that because they naturally um, attract Okay, they naturally attract. They don't got to uh, do all of that. And if there's nobody there to pour into them, they will pour into themselves until they meet somebody that can pour into them. So that's a lie. It's a bold-faced lie. I would defend a, a, a empress on any day of the week that they don't got time for none of that. Um, somebody may not be able to take action against you. I feel like what really this is, it's like someone from a family or from an institution wanting to take some type of reckless action to stop you, block you, destroy you, and you cause you some type of loss. But this is somebody that's distorted, so they don't quite see things the way they're supposed to see it. So they may not be able to come towards you, so their journey is postponed. Someone is not able to like uh, see things the way they, they are being told to or guided to. So it's like the spirit realm telling somebody, hey, you need to let go of this, whatever this is you have against this person. Someone hasn't done anything to you. Someone is innocent. Someone is whatever it is they're telling him, right? But it's like this is someone that's stuck in his way. So he is trying to force something to go in his favor. And he's trying to stop you from working. Basically, he wants you to give up. Uh, so someone thinks if they keep doing something, then eventually you are going to give up and you're not going to either show up to the building uh, one day soon or you're not going to read your books. You're not going to do your uh, 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 content. You're not, you know, I'm going to put content in there always because I do content, right? Uh, <laughs> but you're not going to show up and do your content. You're not going to do this. You're not going to do that. You're not going to take care of yourself. It may even be a thing where people don't even want you to be kept. Okay. They don't want you to be clean. Okay. They want you to be someone that has poor hygiene. You don't take baths. You don't take showers. You don't put deodorants on and things like that. They want you in poor health. Um, but you keep waking up every day and doing the opposite. And someone is getting really desperate and very angry behind the scenes. Um, because they said, what's the, oh, how, why? They, 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 they just don't get it. They said, they're like, what's the purpose of this? It could even be that somebody was told that you're doing something for money. So they thought if they hit your pocket, then you will stop doing something. But it's like, it's not working. It's that you may not even be making money from something, but you're still doing it with a lot of joy, with a lot of peace, a lot of happiness and things like that. And he doesn't understand that because this is somebody where everything is about money. If there's no money involved, he don't want nothing to do with it. So this is not somebody that really knows what true passion is. Okay, uh, so this is probably why he may not even feel any ways about destroying what it is you're building because he doesn't have any passion in life. He doesn't understand passion about anything. It's like you're not getting paid to do this. Why are you doing it? 
I, I look, what's the reason? What's the purpose? I, I keep seeing a man say, what's the purpose? Why is she doing this? Why is he doing it? He ain't making no money. She ain't making no money. What's, why did, I don't see the purpose of this. So it's like some type of narrative that was being spun about you. Like you're doing something for money. It's a lie. So obviously he's finding that out now. And it's like, he may have to go and tell maybe his partners or partner in crimes that hey we're gonna have to let this go it's not working this person ain't letting up this person is not giving up they're not doing this for money or whatever this is they actually just like doing what it is they're doing so it's something like that some someone is kind of feeling stuck okay they, they, they can't push that narrative of you're unfit you're unskilled uh, so he's going to be revealing some type of truth to these people and it's going to lead to some, I don't know if it's, if it's him walking away or somebody else walking away. Uh, but it, it's like someone is, something is kind of, oh, uh, um, what is the word? Like something is done. It's overplayed. Something is like redundant. Uh, it, it could even feel like, like, uh, um, uh, I forgot what the word is. It, like something feels more like a burden on a on, on a community on a masculine on a feminine now than it was before when they initially started doing something it was fun it was funny because they were causing you losses they saw the fun in that and i don't understand how people can even feel or find something like that to be funny because you know what you're doing is affecting someone else's livelihood, their families and things like that. God forbid somebody has children, a child or children or something that's affecting their ability to take care of those children and or that child or their spouse or whatever, whoever it is they're taking care of or living with. And these people don't care. Okay. So there's something where it's like they're seeing that it don't matter what we do to this person. They're going to keep working they're going to keep showing up they're going to keep producing they're going to keep writing they're going to keep sinking they're going to keep painting they're going to keep doing whatever it is that they're doing so we need to cut our losses and move on okay you're working very you're, you're very committed it's what somebody is finding i said nah this person is skilled and they're committed like somebody even knows like your work is legit like your work your it's legit like you are legit and that's something he's finding out too. He said, oh, this mother sucker is real. We've been out here playing with ourselves, thinking that we're playing on this person's time. But this person has been getting better and better at what it is they do. This is a real deal right here. And there's some type of shift. And this is going to be in the future. Where it's like these people, they may even end up advocating like, your business or something like they may even end up referring people to you and say hey we know this person like we can guarantee you this person is 100 percent real like no no jokes so you want to you want to talk to your dear relatives and things like that this is the person to go to you want to know what it is to expect in your life is this is the person to go to that like, we can guarantee you this mother effort is 100 percent authentic so th something is going to play out in your favor where is that your enemies are going to go from you know wanting to destroy you to supporting your business referring people to you now it's not going to happen overnight so i don't expect you to see someone drop their battle with you and then all of a sudden tomorrow the next day they're advocating your business no someone is going to go through some type of healing process or a group of people will end up going through some type of healing process and then they'll start advocating your business the people said man listen it's this girl named uh, uh, uh jasmine like we used to fool with and stuff like that like man you need you you're looking for that service they're the one to go to that like, we can guarantee you 100 percent that they're real Okay, so it's something like that. And I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but it's definitely happy in the future. So right now, they're trying to figure out how to keep something going because they're still in that narcissistic energy. Uh, they're still operating from their lower energy. So somebody doesn't want to let something go. Someone does not want to let something in. Um, but even though they're trying to hold on to something, it's causing them more losses than any. Yeah, it's causing them more losses uh, than it's causing you. It says somebody thinks that if they deplete all your resources, you got no money coming in, then you're going to give up and stop doing something. But the universe always has backup for people like you. So 
like I said, the universe always has backup for people like you. So it may be like you're putting an end to sorrows, distress, uh, financial life, and things like that. And you're stepping into some type of abundance. Like you're ending a very karmic chapter and you are going to be stepping into some type of very uh, abundant life. You could have someone that's trying to take action to block like a promotion for you, an opportunity, an offer, or something like that for you. Um... And the universe is taking care of that, okay? Someone is advocating for you behind the scenes, I believe. Uh, they may be telling people they know this person is actually skilled. They're actually hardworking. Uh, they actually do the work. They actually invest in whatever this is. They know what they're doing. They are actually skilled. So I don't know what it is you all are talking about. That's not true. Whatever this person told you is not true. This is a real person, okay? A real uh, talent. So I don't know what this is, but the truth is going to come out. Uh, you could have someone that is distorted um, about what it is you're manifesting as well. Uh, someone could have lied about paying a king of swords to do you something, to do a queen of wands something. So somebody paid, like somebody took some type of action to pay a king of swords um, to do something to you. So whether this was to block you, uh, come towards you to do you something, somebody pay him. And they're trying to keep that a secret. Uh, they're trying to uh, hide that, basically. It's like he was supposed to come in and I don't know what it, what it is. It could have something to do with your finances. So maybe he hit your finances and it wasn't supposed to happen. Maybe someone took action to balance something out, but someone else paid this skink of swords. To go in and do something else to undo the balance that somebody did. So if it's like, uh, let's say one person goes into a system and fix some type of error, some type of glitch, or some type of hacking or something, somebody else paid a king of swords to go in there and take something away, undo something, or take money away, or whatever it is. So he was paid to do that, and they're trying to keep that a secret. They're trying to hide that or lie about it, okay? There could also be something where it's, this, where it's like this king of swords wants to take some type of action against you. But like he's, I think he's stuck right now. Like he's, I don't know if he's out of options. Like he's trying to figure out what else can I do to this person so that I can stop them from working. I can stop them from showing up. Because there's something he's been doing for a long time. This man has hit you in a lot of different ways. But your part of the contract is to just keep moving forward in his was to let go a long time ago, but he's not wanting to. So what it is, is that he's stuck right now. He's like, what do I do? What are my options? What else can I do to this person? So it may even be something where this man is getting like really desperate out here to do you something. And it's like, what he's even trying to do to you is not justifiable. It's like, it's like you, you didn't do anything to deserve anything these people are doing to you. So I don't even see the purpose. Um, just like he don't see the purpose in you keeping going, you don't see the purpose in him coming after you because you're not causing these people any problems. It's like they are infatuated with you and their infatuation is what has led to problems for them. All these people had to do was leave you alone. If they stole something from you, all they had to do was keep their mouth shut and move on with their lives. But you know when you do wrong, you got to hide it. So maybe they start coming after you, trying to destroy you, will help seal that fit of them being able to keep something that they took or trying to block something for you but it's that you are still showing up and this man is like i don't know what else to do like i've done everything to this mother effer and she or he is still going it's just she's like a freaking leech she just keeps going sucking 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 don't nobody see what the f she's sucking on so he don't know what to do with himself they said what the, I can, he may even like spaz out i can't do this anymore but somebody pay him. Now you got a queen of wands out here. She, she's a false queen of wands. She's been working with him. I don't know if she paid him or he was trying to get her to receive some type of opportunity. They, they both are working together to get you to quit your destiny. It's like you're not quitting nothing. So she's working really hard to cause you losses, cause you an ending. So the both of them have been collaborating behind the scenes on how they can cause you endings, cause you to give up, get you to stop working, stop showing up for yourself. Who in their right mind is going to stop showing up for themselves? Come on. King of Swords, if I told you stop showing up for yourself, are you going to stop showing up for yourself? 
No. Not, not, not in a million years. Cause if you, <coughs> excuse me. Because if you don't show up for yourself, who's going to? Hopefully not that Queen of Wands reverse you're working with. Because you already know 100% she ain't loyal to you. You know it. I don't got to tell you that. You know it. It's a business transaction between the both of you. It's a business transaction. Yeah, the both of them are very uh, corrupt. This, these are two narcissists working together to stop you from having some type of new beginning. They don't want you to work towards any type of new life, new nothing. Don't be hopeful. Like, he hates your optimist, uh, optimistic uh, uh, energy, your optimism. He don't like it. He don't like you being enthusiastic. He don't like you being uh, innovative. He don't like you being, uh, 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 being someone that has like an open mind. That being open-minded, oh, endless possibilities, I can do, I can probably start this business and it's going to be fruitful. He don't want you thinking in that way. Like, they, like they want you in the five of cups, this kind of energy. Like, they're working really hard to cause you losses, but you keep showing up in a positive energy and it's driving them nuts. They don't like your positivity. They want you to be in this energy, but it's like, mm, that, that's not, that, we don't resonate with that energy. Like, I mentioned in one of my videos, like, for me, if I pick up on, like, a negative energy, I know it's not me because I'm a positive person. Like, I like being happy. I like smiling and things like that, right, with the right people. So if I'm sitting all of a sudden, I start getting angry. I'm like, what the heck am I angry for? Like, you know, I, I don't got nothing. I don't have nothing to be angry about. I got beautiful kids, very loving. They're healthy. They're alive. Don't, you know, and, and I got a beautiful relationship with them. We love each other and things like that. I got things to be happy about. I don't got time to be with this negative mess. Like that is that is not my energy. So all negative energies and intent return to source, return to sender immediately. So that's my energy. They don't want you to think that way. They want you to say, oh, woe is me. The light that the world is falling up, uh, uh, falling down around me. What is my life going to be like? Oh, my gosh. It's said, nah, 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 nah. Don't do that. Don't do that. So you could be working on starting some something new, and they're trying to figure it out, the both of them, so they can stop it. And she's crying. Whoever this queen of wands is behind the scenes, sis is crying. Because sis cannot be you. She cannot have what's yours. She cannot have your destiny. I don't know who these people think they are when it comes to the most high. You're not God. Okay, you're not God. So you could have a family that's going through an ending. Uh, they could end up, I don't know if this is a business, like an institution, or this is a family that's about to be going through some type of ending. Okay, uh, more than likely bankruptcy or something like that, like a decline in resources because they misused, mishandled their funds trying to come after you. Like these people invested a lot of money. Okay, you're about to be having some type of ten of pentacles yourself. Uh, so it's like, I don't know if there's a flip in alignment or whatever, or vibration, uh, synchronicity. I don't know how to put it. But there's something that's coming to an end for a family. Wherever they build off of your back, they're, they're going to be losing it. If they build something off of your back. And, yeah, because a decision has been made. I don't know if, like, an institution has made a decision to put something to an end. They said, cut this stuff out. This is it. We can't. No more. Because there's something where it's like they keep losing money. They keep losing money and coming after you or something like that. But it's not something you're doing. It's the most high that's taking action against these people. Like, this is spirit balancing something out. And I think we told these people before. It's like, at this point, you're not going up against a person. You're going up against the universe. What can you do against the universe? You're this big. Okay? Imagine your size compared to the size of the earth. That's about, yeah. What can you do? All you can do is yield. What can you do? So a decision has been made. A family, I don't know if an institution is putting something to an end. Family, a couple, they're putting something to an end. I don't know if this is like a competition or something like that. But there's some type of decision that has been made. And it's going in your favor collective. And this is what this Queen of Wands and King of Swords was trying to stop. 
say, I don't know who this skin cut source is, but he he he's losing it behind the scenes. And I don't know why he keeps going with something. Like, just let go. Let go. Yeah, it's in your favor. I said it. The car came out. The decision that's being made is in your favor. And the ancestors are wishing for you to be happy in life. Okay? The judgment call is in your favor. Someone is hoping to balance things out. Someone is hoping that whatever offer they're coming towards you with is going to make you happy. Okay? Some type of rebirth. Yeah, in your favor again. Whoever has made this decision, they're literally hoping that it's going to make you happy. And this king of swords is not happy about it. The king of uh, queen of swords reverse is not happy about it. Like he is losing his temper behind the scenes. He don't find out that something is going to you and not his karmic that he's been working with. And he's losing it. He like this, like somebody is trying not to say something like he's trying not to lose his his cool. Like I I see like a man like with his fist balled up and all like he is angry. Angry. Okay, maybe criticizing you. Not that his criticism of you matter, because we're all individuals. Your people's opinion of you should not matter to you at all. Your opinion of you should matter to you. But he's losing it behind the scenes because something something is being balanced out. Like some type of opportunity is uh, uh, uh coming towards you, so he may want to sneak and do something. Okay. Like, he wants to temper with your strength. He said, this mother effort is strong, but let's see if they're strong if I do this. So, whatever it is they do is going to end up backfiring even more. There's something this man did that backfired on him, and it's, he's about to do something else. Because this is somebody that just doesn't learn, doesn't want to learn. It's like they're in denial. Like, he's trying to force something, and it's not working. It's not going to work. And you got a uh, emp uh, Empress Reverse, Queen of Swords Reverse. King of Swords reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. All of these people are working hard to do you something. To stop you, steal something from you. I don't know if it's energy they're trying to steal. It can't just be energy yet. Yeah, they're trying to steal your dreams, your birthright. They don't want you to be prosperous. Like These people are angry. Maybe three of swords to the six of pentacles. These people are angry at you receiving something. So they may even be trying to sneak and steal whatever it is you're supposed to receive. Okay? You're someone that's very strong and kind-hearted too. Dang, some type of judgment has been made against the King of Cups reverse. Ooh, baby. Hmm. Dang. Bro is about to, this. Excuse me, I said, bro. This man is about to lose everything. Like someone has fallen from grace. His ancestors have separated. Like someone is under judgment. Whatever judgment he's under, it's not good. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. This is someone that is like an emotional gas lighter. Okay. And he may even be planning to come towards you, Empress. Is that if I just go back to this Empress? So this is possibly somebody that left you for somebody else, cheated on you, and then spun some type of lie just so that a family could work with him, feel sorry for him, give to him, and things like that. And now that he's under some type of judgment by the spirit realm and a decision has been made, this company or this family is deciding to put an end to their partnership with him. Now he wants to come to words. You're talking about, uh, uh, you know, nah, now he wants to get back in the family. Now, nah, baby, it's over. It's over. Like, you got a whole new offer coming in. He's angry about that. Nah, you can't be out here, uh, jumping from boat to boat. Like, pick a side and stick to it. Okay? Pick a side and stick to it. Just like everybody else picked a side and they stuck to it. At least this King of Swords and this Queen of Wands, they know what side they're on. They may be a, a, a karmic, but at least they know what side they're on. No, you're going to have to pick a side and stick to it. You picked a side already. 
Stick to it. If that side is rejecting you, then you got you're gonna have to find your own side. Don't go to the Empress. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's playing. We got the King of Cups reverse to the Six of Wands, to the Knight of Wands. He's trying to come in. His plans, his plans are to come in, have a one night stand with you. With a, he's coming in with a lot of lustful energy, basically. Is that if I can, if I go in and I just get with her once, I can impregnate her and she'll be stuck with me and I'll have access to her abundance. That like he got it all planned and the universe is just so, the universe is just looking at him like you wanna bet? You wanna bet? Someone may not even be able to make it around you. Like this is somebody that's gonna be looking for you but cannot find you. Yeah, he's coming in to gaslight you. Not of ones or the night of course. This man's coming in to gaslight you. Tell you a bunch of lies. He don't lost all his money. There's something where someone was gaining a lot of money while you were living in poverty. And he thought this was going to be going on forever. The fact that you were able to what? Defend yourself. Speak up. Bring truth to some type of situation in whatever way. Or maybe somebody advocated for you with that knight of source out here. That is why things are being balanced out. So it's the end of this masculine. This king of cups and somebody in an institution working together. This is why he wants to come towards you. So go, I just want us to heal our family. We can be a family again. Nah, 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 nah. You're an opportunist. We, we're going to need you to... Go back to where you came from. So, but I can't go back there. They said it'll warn me. That's your business to figure out. If this is like somebody that will probably text you talking about these people are crazy. And you are too. What's your point? What was the reason? What was the reason? And you betrayed somebody. You don't even got a reason. You just been telling lies. What was the reason, Johnny? What was the reason? Billy, what was the reason, Benny? What was the reason, Bob? You don't know? Mm. Sure, we don't know either. We were, we were hoping you would tell us. Dang, it's a whole family, a whole... I think this is like a business. They said they don't want to be affiliated with this man no more. They're separating. They're cutting up business ties with him. I think it's because a lie came out. Maybe they're figuring out that this is someone who is, who is a liar and he gaslights. For some of you, this is not somebody you dated. This is somebody that worked for this institution. And he probably told a lot of lies on you, said you did something to him. Like someone has been setting things up to look like you are the problem. He did something very strategically. And he was thinking that it was... All, I don't know if someone thought something was going to keep going on forever and ever. And it's not. And But for some of you, this is an ex-lover. That's been out here doing too much. Undid himself, not realizing that, but he thought he was undoing you. And this is why I say sometimes the universe will let you do something, like get away with something for a specific amount of time. Like he thought he had gotten away with something. It's like I smell her character enough. So now that these people are working with me, no one is ever going to work with her. She's going to be living in poverty forever. She's going to be rejected by people forever. And the universe is sitting up there the whole time looking at him like, this mother sucker here. He just don't know what he's getting himself into. But we're going to let him find out. And he's about to. But they have nothing but just drama. Unnecessary drama. You may even have like an Empress energy that wants to take some type of action to come towards you. Be careful with these people. Leave them right where they are. Okay? Yeah, leave them right where they are. I don't know who this Empress is. Uh... Someone lie about giving uh, some type of financial, I don't know if this is like a financial payout or some type of money to an empress energy. Somebody lie. They didn't give no money to somebody. I don't know if you're supposed to receive something from someone. They didn't give it to you. They lie. And yeah, they lie. Excuse me. I don't know. I don't know. Someone said they invested in your business. They did something. They didn't invest in nothing. 
They didn't invest in nothing. And whatever action they're trying to take to come towards you is a no-no from the universe. This king of swords reverse, as angry as he is, as I don't know, whatever he is, be cautious. Because what I picked up on this person is, this is like a gas lighter too. This is a, a, a full-blooded opportunist. Not that he knows this queen of wands reverse that he's been working with against you is not going to win. He may try to now hop on your team. Like he's always supporting you. This is an opportunist. Threat with caution. This is someone that's very critical, very uh, opportunistic, very negative mindset and things like that. Very narrow-minded. Nah, be careful. Like he's trying to come in to play with your emotion. It, you, you're going you're gonna to have a lot of people, men and women, coming towards you to gaslight you because there's some, something that's about to be balanced out and they didn't expect things to go in your favor. You were not supposed to last this long is what I keep hearing someone either saying or thinking. It's that how, how did they last this long? They, they shouldn't, like, I, I don't understand. Like they can't even, they can't even get the words out, honey. It's like, they, they, they don't know. Okay, they don't know. And you got the the Queen of Wands that feels entitled, so she's trying to steal. Some, like, she's trying to steal a relationship. How desperate do you got to be? But her desperation is more so for the money. It's not because of love. She wants a union with somebody. I don't know if this is a businessman she wants a relationship with. But it's something where it's contractual in her eyes. If I'm with him, he gives me money. He gives me this opportunity. Sure, I win. It's a win-win for me. It's not because of love. This is an opportunist. But she ain't getting it because he's already made a decision or an institution has made a decision to go with a light worker. So it's that like the manipulation is not working. Okay? Like, your hard work is paying off. Maybe it don't feel that way right now. Excuse me, been up since three something. Uh, your hard work is paying off. It's going to reap you a lot of harvest. So don't let anybody get you off your path. I don't care how complicated it looks, how uh, distressing it looks, how uh, uh disappointing you think it looks. It's not because you are headed right for a ten of pentacles, and you're somebody's choice, like an institution. It's making a decision. And I'm definitely, I bet my life on it. It's going in your favor. Whoever this King of Cups reverse is, maybe they're about to be out here in walls, like watching you talking about, why did I do this to myself? I should have not done this. Literally, it's a King of Swords, King of Cups reverse to the Five of Cups. Baby, it ain't getting no better for him. Okay? It is not getting better for him. That somebody is about to be living in distress. When I say distress, distress. You know, like, you know how in the movies, you'll have a man that'll be with a woman and he'll mistreat that woman. It can't even be a child that he has with the woman. He'll mistreat them so badly because he don't got his mind in the right place. He's still out here chasing uh, uh, the Instagram thoughts and things like that. So he'll neglect the woman he's with, the family he, he he has created with that woman, he'll neglect them. And they got to fend for themselves when they're asking for help. He don't got no help to offer. Maybe he goes and starts a new family somewhere else because the other woman maybe is a yellow boon or she got a little bit more money or she's good to look at, whatever. Not that the other woman is not good looking, but he's just lustful. He's a womanizer. So he goes on, starts a whole new family, taking care of the new family, neglecting the first family. So now something happens where, you know, the first family, they come up, get on their feet, they're, they're, they're known around the world and things like that, or they're successful, fairly successful, making a lot of money. And now he's in his little second family he made that he neglected you all for, for, don't got much going on, but wants to come back to you. You say, you're looking at him like, I wish you will come back in the neck of my woods. I, huh? Huh? Yeah, it's something like that. Whoever this King of Cups reverse is, this is somebody you were with. Absolutely with. Because I'm seeing the Five of Cups out here, that means that this is somebody you definitely dated. And he took the relationship for granted. So someone probably uh, acted like you didn't exist. Somebody may have even taken advantage of you mentally, emotionally, 
uh, whatever way, just gaslighting you, being emotionally distant and things like that. And now he's about to be living in regret. He said, why did I do this to myself? What like somebody's life is about to take some type of turn, it won't even make sense. Is that why did I do this to myself? What has my life become? Just stuck, no options, nobody to help him because this is what this person manifested for you, tried to manifest for you. It's like, it's like, don't help her. Nobody should do this, nobody should do that. I'm gonna separate her from everybody, I'm gonna make sure nobody uh, uh supports you and things like that. And he's about to be cool. That's why I said be careful what you what you ask for when it comes to other people. Be careful what you manifest for other people or try to manifest for other people. Because you never know what tomorrow brings. Never let your ego be so big that you think you're invincible. Nobody is invincible. Even I here that sits here. I'm not invincible. The universe can choose to do with me whatever it wants at any time. It don't matter that I'm a light worker. It don't matter that uh, I'm healing people or trying to heal people, trying to help people, whatever. Whatever I call it. At any time, if they decide I got a lesson to learn, they can't enforce that. And I got a lesson to learn, so I got to go through it. Your situation can change at any time. Today you may be up, tomorrow you may be down. Today you may be down, tomorrow you may be up. Be careful how you treat people. You never know what tomorrow may bring. That is an old saying of wisdom that people don't take heed to. Be careful what you do. You never know what tomorrow brings. Be careful how you treat people. And I feel like there are a group of people that are about to learn this the hard way, especially this King of Cups reverse. This is somebody you were with. You may have even had a family with this person, with you showing up as an empress. You had a family with this person. You were really healing. With you being the star to the empress, the judgment, you were someone that was very healing to this person. You looked out for this person, nurtured this person, poured into this person. Because th those are characteristics. Those are typical character traits of the empress. They pour into their environment. They're very nurturing, motherly, very abundant. Okay? They do things according to the laws of nature. Okay? So they're not going to be out here angry. Angry is not part of... No. That's not what an empress is. Empresses aren't just angry all the time, being spiteful, getting drunk and all that. Nah, like we're, we're, we do our best to stay in the upright. We don't get it 100% right all the time, but 90% of the time, we're pretty good. The other 10%, hey, we're human, okay? So with you showing up in those beautiful energies, this is somebody you definitely looked out for. You held dear to your heart, but they betrayed you for money. That, that, that good old money. That paper. Now they are losing all the papers. Losing all the connections and things like that. Because this is somebody that was living a good life while you were going through poverty. And had people coming after you. Pinching some type of dishonest narrative that you were this horrible person. You did this to them. You, let, you, you, you did that to them. They didn't do nothing to this person. Probably told people you cheated on them with this Knight of Wands out here. You never cheated on this masculine. More than likely left you for somebody. It didn't work out. In a, he stuck in some type of toxic situation. But now that he knows you got the abundance, the abundance is coming towards you. He wants to come back to reunite something. Reconciliation is now his vocabulary. Come on now. So it's a lesson for this man to learn. That's why we got the judgment to the King of Cups in reverse. It's a lesson. Some type of judgment has been made and it's not going in his favor. Okay? He may want to come towards you to ask for forgiveness. Forgive him from a distance. It's that you. I don't hold nothing against you. I, I don't even remember most of the stuff you did. Or if I do, I'm not thinking about it. We ain't thinking about you. You know how they have that song? I've been thinking about you. Now you ain't thinking about this man. You are not thinking about this man. Let him be. Don't hold no grudges in your heart for people. Wish him well and let him be on his way and you be on your way. But this man is plenty on coming towards you with a lot of lust, a lot of words, a lot of emotions, all kinds of stuff. Possibly hoping to have a one night stand with you just so you can end up pregnant. Now he he's attached 
again to you. Nobody can give you an offer because you're pregnant by your baby daddy. You ain't doing that. Don't even let this man around you. Ask source to keep this person out of your energy. Anybody with evil intent or negative intent towards you is blocked out of your energy. Ask your ancestors to move on your behalf, your angels. Because whoever this is that's coming towards you, baby, they don't got no good intent for you. You're showing up as the queen of cups in the upright and he's the king of cups in the reverse. That's not a match. That's the complete opposite. That's like you, the queen of cups in this relationship with this masculine and you're pouring into him, into the relationship. Since you show up as an empress, you're pouring into the family, everything. Maybe even trying to start a business with him or just trying to start a business to get the family out of uh, poverty and things like that. And the whole time he's there gaslighting you, not committing, he's non-committal. Because the, the, the king of cups reverse are people that are non-committal. They're emotionally unavailable or they're either emotionally unavailable or they're too emotional with this one. He's emotionally unavailable. The five of swords is out here. So this is a narcissist. He's emotionally unavailable. Okay. Maybe having a hard time coping with the reality that he's put himself in. That something is about to like, you know, like when something happens and it doesn't hit you yet. It's about to hit this man. But he was playing with you in a relationship while you were loyal to him in the relationship. That loyalty is gone. Somebody may even end up wondering if you ever cared about him. You did, but that time is gone. He didn't like you caring about him, right? Because that's, I mean, when you're out here gaslighting people, they're loving on you and you're gaslighting them. You're telling them, I don't want you to do that. I don't care about it. So eventually the Queen of Cups will get to that place. It's that, okay, Queen of Swords. And then they get desperate. They want you to go back into Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups energy for them. Is that nah? It's permanently Queen of Swords when I see you. Okay. So whatever he's about to learn, that's his business. That's his business. But the decision has been made. People may not be happy about this decision that's being made, especially this Queen of Wands reverse, King of Swords reverse unhappy there's an empress reverse as well and a uh queen of swords reverse they're all unhappy about some type of decision that has been made in regards to you is that how how what how do how do they always get what it is they want how do they always get what it is they want things always work out for them it's not fair no, what's not fair is you try to destroy somebody's life for no reason, simply because you're insecure. You don't want to see somebody else happy. That's what's not fair. What's not fair is being malicious to other people. What's not fair is letting your is projecting your insecurities onto other people. What's not fair is choosing to be this hateful in life. That's what's not fair. Come on. I can't. Anyways, Collective, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.